what a special day today. We're out here at Peninsula Kingswood on the Melbourne Sandbelt. We're playing the magnificent South Course today. There's four of us here. There's Brett, Trent from Royal Caddy, and AFL superstar and Hawthorne captain James Sicily is also joining us for a little 10-hole match. Four ball, better ball, two on two. Let's get into it. Oh, go. That's fine. <laughs> that was horrific. It's out of the wind. Yeah, I'm not going to reach this. Thanks, mate. I'll probably need it. Oh, that's perfect. He's warmed up. He's played four holes. Oh, yeah. Smoked it. Should... Is that all right? Yeah, a little bit right. It's fine. Oh, good bounce. Very Great nice bounce. bounce. Oh, you oh, still hook on it. Stay there. Oh. It's fine, isn't it? It's not too bad, a bit waste. right. It's going to get that trap. Oh, that is dead. I'm going to let it go That's over. a long way left. Oh, it's your <laughs> hole again. <laughs> <laughs> Piles on the pressure. Yeah. Far out. Oh, yeah, it's a go. delicious strike. <laughs> it supplies the pressure. That's plenty of room up there. Ooh. It's all about the second shot anyway. Oh, take oh, it. Got take one. it. <laughs> It'll work. That was like a jump off the creek. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a bomb. Nice ball. Oh, that was the first time, huh? Yeah. It's just flying that. Wow. Some serious ball speed. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of creek, Brett, that one yeah. we just went across? Yeah. One of the boys years ago on his, um, on his committee round. <laughs> to get entry, <laughs> lost lost sight of his buggy because he was like playing his shot or something. But buggies ended up in the creek on his first <laughs> hole of his committee round. The electric one? Nah, like one of these, I think. Oh, just oh no. <laughs> Brett, that pin's at the back. You just want to shoot over that tree, but to the right. Can you see the flag? Probably wasn't the plan to be um, 190 plus away on a par four. It's all right. We're one up. I'll just bunt it forward. No, you're not. You're, it's even. Oh, we're not. We're even. <laughs> you're about to go one down. <laughs> oh, good strike. Flush that. <laughs> Get up. It's not very good, is it? Right. How would you play that? Oh, just well, to talk me through. Well... Consult your local PGA Pro, but I would probably go slightly further back in the stance to try yeah. and catch, hitting more down on it. So you're getting ball first before you're taking turf. You do it now. Mm. You oh, over that keep, again. I just keep pulling everything. Oh, wow. Okay. That could be close. Looks all right. Go a bit. Go. Probably take that 10 out of 10 times from there, I reckon, out of a divot. Oh, is that range again? Oh, yeah. do it. Oh, hey. oh. 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 That's our that hole, done. I think. That's our hole? Yeah. Beautiful. 
Trenton Henry well one up through two. Anyone feeling less pressure at the moment? Uh, mine's mounting. I haven't had a good hole yet. <laughs> <laughs> we like the sound of that. <laughs> 178. Back left mm -hmm. pin. Yeah, we'll call you 11. Oh, oh. A bit thin. That might work. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah, that'll feed oh, around. Sit. Oh, it's a good strike. It's a little bit right, trying to draw back. It's down You're there. Hitting it well. Oh, oh, it's the same. That'll work. Is it gonna go? My... Off the bank. Yeah. Oh, what a wow. shot. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh yeah. it just got over it. Oh. How would you get into golf? Um, there's a huge, always been a huge golf culture at Hawthorne. Um, it's the only way Gunners would talk to me is if I played golf. And so, no, I just thought it was a really good opportunity to get into uh, build relationships with some older guys that I that I sort of knew that if I wanted to get into the team, I'd need them to like me. So, um, played heaps of golf with with Jack Gunston, Luke Bruce, Taylor Jaray, Isaac Smith when they were at the club, so I sort of just tried to, yeah, build some relationship with those guys and um, wanted to go on the Barn Boogle mid-season uh, mid buy trip, so. So you've only really started golf at what age oh. then? I would have been 20. 20. Wow, you've come a long way then. What about some golfing highlights you got for us? Plenty of golfing highlights and plenty of golfing lowlights. Had a hole yeah. in one, hole in one first day as a member at Huntingdale on hole 12. Um, so that's a highlight, but plenty of golf trips and plenty of good memories with the guys, um, either at Barn Boogle or in the States. Yeah, always got golf trips booked in most years with the boys, a couple yeah. throughout the year. Always something to look forward to, yeah. Favourite golf trip or course you've travelled to? Uh, we're pretty fortunate, one of our friends is a member at Sage Valley in South Carolina, and that's pretty pure. Um, so we go, we've been going there yearly uh, for the last sort of five years. You're taking, them, taking the cup home as well? No, I haven't taken the individual one out, and I never will. I'm um, pretty crap on the mentals when it comes to that side of things. I'm not consistent, but myself and Isaac took out the team's comp last year, so we'll be defending the, the title there oh, this year. Good. So you've always got the passion for golf. What about uh, during the season? How often can you get out midweek? Usually try and get out once a week, um, sometimes twice, depending on the schedule, but I feel like it's a necessity for me. Yeah. to get out and play and it also it sets up my whole week if I have a good round I'm probably bound to have a good game but and then vice versa if I have a crap round then it just sets me up to fail but I love it oh get out there right. it's far enough left that'll get be right fine. Out there. you were there last That's time <laughs> was I? yeah <laughs> you had a good memory you parted it still <laughs> oh yeah. That's nice, nice. That Straight. is real nice. Long. Oh, yes. oh here he is. Look at that. Great ball. Yeah. Little draw. That's nice. That was picturesque. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> no nice. pressure, Trent. That's what we like to see. We're back. 100%. Nice. It's been it's striping it. Yeah. Bring Henry, it. how do you manage to keep the handicap down? Like, or oh, like oh, not play as much. Not play as much, but not still, like, you can come out here and still drive it like that, and he's probably not playing as as much as everyone else. Yeah. And you're always behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, just trying not to, like, worry about it and just try and relax. Like, relax. Yeah. yeah. I you know what to do, really, yeah. It's more just getting relaxed, and, like, when I get tense, my shoulders go like this, yeah. and you just can't play golf tense at yeah. all. Like... You need a little bit of kind of anxiety to play really good golf, like to care, to care enough. Yeah, mm. true. But it, you need to be able to keep it low because sometimes, yeah. like, <laughs> if you get really anxious, like you just, you absolutely shot. Yeah, it's really fine. But yeah, I reckon you just like fine line of like having a little bit of anxiety where you yeah you, you care. Yeah, I care too much. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, same. laughs> I got one thirty six, Brett. I got one forty four. It's because you're over there. I do in some par. Oh, well done, love nicely it. done. Put me under the pump again. Piles on the pressure. 
Ooh. Back to square. Back to square. All right, so we've made ourselves to the fifth tee here on the south. It's the first big occasion of the day. It's the longest drive challenge. We've got a little soft little dog leg right, par five here, wind off the left shoulder. Could see some pretty long drives here. Who wants to go first? I will. Oh, Brett, you're volunteering. Yeah, I'll just go up. Have a big swing, we never know. There you go. Never know. Yeah, and there was a few thousand. Longest drive. Still the fairway, probably. That's out in the other fairway. Doesn't matter it? what fairway. No. Right? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a drink. It's cutting. Is that wet? Yeah, it's wet. Could oh. be bushes. Oh, oh I've done whoop, the same. Whoop, whoop. Too much. It's even further right of yours. Yeah, might just hit an iron. Oh, oh, he's roasted it! Wow. That is long. <laughs> that might be through the fairway. Oh, Shot, mate. Oh, I think it is. What a beauty. Lovely. Oh, cut. Hasn't cut. I have no idea. <laughs> well, mate, I've just taken drop. This is what happened last time on this hole. You were just hugging the right side. Do you have to say that? Sorry, man. You are right, though. Well, how is it? It's a bit right. Needs to be long to get over that pot. That's up. That's long. Yeah, oh, it's long. long. We're on the green, though. Go. Too good. It's pretty delish. Come on. It is. He's oh! done it. Get my around partner. him, sis. That's my partner. <laughs> Oh, well sorry. done, guys. You. Well, that's, you might up. as well pick up. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Thanks, mate. Octopus. The squid. See, that just goes to show distance doesn't matter. Done, mate. Hitting the, <laughs> Hitting the flag. Oh, Hitting. fuck. Sorry, I thought he was putting. So, James, run us through like a normal week during the footy season. Where does golf fit into that? Um, depending on what type of game I've just played, we usually always have a day off after the game. So, if it's a bruise-free game, I'll usually play on the Monday, the day after, but sometimes it's not the case, you're a bit sore. Um, and then usually three days out before the game, we have a day off. Um, so you can lock me in for, for a game then, um, for sure. So that's usually usually once a week, but sometimes try and fit two in. Is that tricky? You've got a you know, Saturday afternoon game and it's a Thursday and you're sort of itching to get out in the golf course. Is it sometimes hard to hold yourself back? Well. It would be if we played on Saturdays. Unfortunately, we'll be playing on Sundays a fair bit, um, given where we're at at the moment. But um, I'm sure that'll be the case in the future. But a lot of lot of Sunday games, which means a lot of Monday sort of Wednesday games uh, games of golf. Um, so yeah, usually a Monday and a Wednesday. And you uh, had, had a pretty tough run there, sort of 2021 and last year, spending about a year and a half where you, you yeah. didn't play an AFL game. Was it about 18 yeah. months? Was it? Yeah, it was about 18 months. Um, how, how, how difficult was that during that period and mentally? And, and were you able to play golf or did the injury prevent you from playing any golf as well? Yeah, no, the injury prevented me from playing golf for probably, I reckon, 11 months, which was as hard, if not harder, than not playing footy. Um, yeah, but it taught me a lot of patience. Obviously, you, you get a fair, fair amount of resilience out of it as well. Um, but... And there's just so many things that run through your mind while you're injured in sort of the short term of an injury like that, whether you're going to get back and be able to return to the level that you were and stuff like that. But i um, pretty fortunate that I've got a lot of uh, people that know what they're doing around me and really good at their jobs. So um, complete, had complete trust in them and um, yeah, back playing now. You've played in front of some pretty big crowds there at the MCG and at other grounds. How do the nerves compare if you're you know, playing in front of a near full house at the MCG compared to standing on the first tee at a golf course where you maybe, you're not yeah. quite sure where the ball's going to go. Yeah, it's funny. I feel like in footy, in my case, I have a little bit more control. You know, as you were saying before, you'd be able to talk through your shots and nail exactly what you're doing in golf terms, but I sort of can't do that golf-wise, so that's where the nerves <laughs> kick in. Um, but definitely, like when you're having a, a set shot at goal and it's a 15, one, 15 metre shot and you're expected to make it, that's when you probably get the most nervous. Um, but overall, probably more nervous on the course. Talk us through that handicap. You're playing off nine at the moment. Yeah, Your yeah. swing suggests you should be playing off about two or three. How, what, why isn't your handicap a bit lower than well, nine? Well, that just, 
it's just the mental part of the game. I'm real streaky. I can get get good and just lose it just as fast. But um, I mean, that's why you love it because you can never really get a hold of it. As soon as you think you've got it figured out, something else will bob up and and humble you real quickly. Um, but no, I, I enjoy I enjoy it. Nine's about right for me for the mentals. I think uh, if I get down too low, I don't think I'll be enjoying golf. So. Um, uh, yeah, just happy to rip driver on, on, on any hole rather than sort of course management and um, plotting my way around. So is driver your favourite club in the bag then? Well, it's not. I've I've only just sort of fallen back in love with it just recently. Um, it's just, it. Oh, golf for me is just like one day the driver will be on and then tomorrow it feels the exact same and it's doing an opposite sort of thing. So, um, but I mean, that's golf. Trent spoken the other day about how, I'm stealing your question here, Trent, but he talks about how, you know, golf's kind of like a metaphor for life and you learn a lot of things on the golf mm. course that can help you, you know, ever else in your life. Do you feel like that's the case with golf? Like, does it teach you things that you can apply maybe uh, in, in work, but also just in general life? Oh, I think so, for sure. The biggest thing that's taught me, um, especially like when you have to be a part of like a club, a private club and the etiquette side of things and the way you're supposed to handle yourself. It, early in my career, um, I mean, it's no surprise, like I was that angry, hothead, white, like white line fever sort of guy. And I feel like golf has really um, mellowed me out um, because of what you have to have, the way you have to behave around golf courses. Um, it's nowhere near as competitive as, and the instincts don't get as uh, fiery as they do on the, on the football field. But definitely that's the one biggest thing I've learned from golf is, um, yeah, it's mellowed me out. You can't really storm through the clubhouse at Peninsula Kingswood all guns yeah. blazing, can you? You get in a little start, bit of trouble. Start breaking golf clubs and swearing <laughs> off your head and yeah. Although I have done it, but just not as not as often. Careful when you do it, yeah. yeah. So you just come in here as a member at Peninsula Kingswood. Yeah. Um, tell us about how that came about and what, what do you think about this place? It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Well, I, my first game here was with Trent and then you walk you we drive through the doors, the gates, and it's just so special. You fall in love with it. Um, so he got me together and got me organised to get my papers in and we organised. We know a few, I know a lot of people here, so it's quite easy to get the paperwork done and it was just biding my time. Um, so it was in by July, which I was wrapped about because obviously going into a period of time where I've got um, lots of free time to play golf, so um, wrapped to be here. And your favourite course of the north or the south? Uh, we're chatting before Trent and I. The north is the better course for mine, but if your game's out of order, you come to the south and try and figure it out, and then you go tackle the north again. Oh, it's fine out there. Oh, wind should hit that. Oh, oh he's roasted it. <laughs> yes. That's pure. <laughs> Little draw. Yeah, that's my partner. <laughs> that's my partner. That's my partner. That's my partner. How good is he? Oh, it's yuck. Oh, no. get, get lucky. Get through. Get through. Stay there. Oh, pure. He won. I'm just caddying. The royal caddy. I'm the royal caddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Didn't even get it there. Left edge, you said. Yeah. That was outside the right Climbing edge. Climbing on the pin position. <laughs> <laughs> on the what? Pin position. Oh, two down. Another two. one. Okay, time for another challenge here. It's 260 metres on a direct line of the flag. James, you've, you've cleaned up two holes ago on the longest drive, so I yeah. think you might lead us off, I think. I, I need to grab a ball too. What about if you can't hit 260? <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't hit 260, it's a good question. What do you think, Brad? I'm thinking three iron. Three you iron? just have to short iron. side yourself. Just nice little layup. Look, I'll try it. I haven't done the drivers, so I'll give it a go. Maybe, Maybe I can hit 260. 260. Yeah, I don't have 260 in me right now. Surely you do. Need a ball, sis, sis you're right? right? Yeah, just forgot it. Sis, are you hitting driver? No, nah, just a three wood here. <laughs> driver not required. Driver <laughs> not required. This mm. is an end of this. Mm. In some ways more difficult. Oh, oh shit, that's pretty good. Rip oh, that. There's no Look cut. That. That, that could, could just land left, nicely. Left trap, I reckon. Wow. Oh, shit. Shit bounce. 
Oh! That's strange. Dreaded double cross. I've ripped that, but it's about well, 80 left. Did it last time. Double cross is when you're like, you're trying to do, hit a fade, yeah. and you hit a draw. Okay. Oh, oh. good strike. It's not the right line. It's a bit too far left. No. Talk us through that pre-shot routine, Brett. Just want to work on the downswing, and then really explode up. Nice. That's my only thought. All the power's in the trunk. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it! it. Get Let's on. get the pin. That's straight at it. Oh. <laughs> Are we good? That's, that's landed the pin high. There we go. And we're on our way to three down. <laughs> no, that's game over. Power's all in the trunk, Brett. Absolutely money. Just 20 feet left, oh, right of the pin. Must have landed soft. Mm. Give yourself. Probably rolled up a little bit higher on the green and then just tracked back down a little bit. Nice uphill putt. Oh, it's gone. Is there any danger of a rake in this bunker? Oh, go, it's short. Oh, go a bit. Oh, how's the elevation? Yeah, this is actually a 64 degree. Oh, really? God, this went straight up. <laughs> yeah. You fly the pot. Yep. Oh, my. Oh, still. Oh, I'll get this one. It's going to give it a shot. Got a pulse. Give it a shot. Oh, good shot. Love it. Oh. Effort. Pick it up. Another birdie and another win. Three down. Down. Pick it up, pick it up. Hold well on. Oh, we got three to go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> draw me three down. Draw me three so down. So, we're a sniff. Bit of a feature hole here on the south course. The eighth hole, par five. Definitely the narrowest tee shot on the golf course. And one of the narrowest tee shots you'll play anywhere in Melbourne. It kind of necks in there the further you go up. You're aiming at that light tower in the distance. If you absolutely roast one, James could probably get home in two here today. Probably Brett as well after his tee shot in the last hole. And a beautiful green with a nice climb up, absolutely surrounded by sand. So we'll see how we go tackling this one. The doors just opened up, Trent. Yeah, hang on. Oh, oh good strike. There yeah, we here we go. That's money. That's, That's nice. the best one of the day. My partner. That's elite. <laughs> here, this is brand new. Melbourne made. Oh, oh it might be too long. Like between the bunkers? Get yeah, past. Oh. Sit, sit. That's oh, fine. Oh, nice. Isn't it? Fine. Nice. Overpured it. <laughs> Overpured it. But if we do the maths, 199 to go, you fit at 300. Oh, the tee was a bit forward. I'd call it 280. It'd be close. It would be close. Oh, it's a bit left. Oh, here he is. Here he is. We are two to play. We're actually two down, so two we're down. still alive. Dormy two. Um, we're par three here. It's 142 in a little bit, a bit of a breeze. Um, hole in one challenge. Funnily enough, Henry, what happened the last time you played here in this hole? I had a hole in one challenge. Yeah, you did. That was the last time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> Funny that. Oh my god. Here it is. And it's in. Second hole in one ever. Yo, yo, day. Um, I can do it again. <laughs> Different pin today, though. When we were here, the three of us, and it's probably similar distance though, but the ball, the pin was kind of, the bottom of the pin was kind of hidden. So when the ball actually tra trailed towards the pin, sometimes when you see him go there, it goes behind the pin, and you, you lose track of it for a second, and it pops out again. This time it just never popped out, so we actually weren't sure if it went in. So I actually had to hit my ball, and then we had to race down and yeah. check, and it was in. It was the most Huge. underwhelming hole in one celebration ever. And on a Sunday ever. afternoon, so we couldn't even celebrate with many no. drinks. <laughs> we just got out of here. Pathetic. <laughs> He's flushed that. So it's a little bit left. It's got to get right. That's oh, nuked. It's gone. Oh, 
traps. <laughs> Sand off to the right. What'd you hit? Oh, oh, I shouldn't say that's asking advice. <laughs> Someone will cancel the hole in one. Cancel my hole in one. Hit it wind. Oh, it's a bit too, uh, no. <laughs> it's got me up. Henry, open the door here. Doors open. No one on the gr no no one on the green. No. He couldn't, could he? It's a bit right. It's a good shot, but super disappointing. Super <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> it's like a good shot, but all you're trying to do is make another hole in one. <laughs> and he didn't get it there. He hit it. And he didn't get it there. Oh. It was in. Wow. So this is to win. Yes, yeah, oh, to win. This is the half. Yes, yeah, so it's half the hole. Win the match. Yeah. Oh, it's clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely clutch. Yeah. Got a ram. Trust the line. It's a good game. Well hold. Thank you. Thanks for the match. Thanks, mate. Thank you, Brett. Thank Unlucky, you. mate. Well done. Well done. I think he's played better Thanks, than us, mate. but we just played. Well we just com we just complimented each other much better. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Rebuild, <laughs> rebuild for next year, Trent. <laughs> <Stay I think. laughs>